against Austria is being preached throughout northern Italy. The chief agitators, members of the aristocratic class, are at work in Verona. Prepare regimental quarters near there for tonight. Immediately dispatch patrols to Verona with orders to break up all meetings and forbid all gatherings, either upon the streets or in the homes of the people. I shall expect my orders to be in force with an iron hand. Voltaire. Colonel Commanding, Imperial Austrian della Santa Madre Chiesa e Mariana volete prendere qui presente per il vostro legittimo marito secondo il rito della Santa Madre Chiesa Adrian, and Lady Anne and Marie. Gatherings like this are absolutely forbidden. Get to your home. No. Get to your homes before I write you down.
Tell me, Teresa, how do I look? Beautiful. 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 Oh, Teresa, there he is now. What shall I do? You'll be all right. No, 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 you mustn't leave me alone. I don't know how I ever considered leaving. Why, darling, I... Oh, no, no, Adrian, I... What is it, dear? I'm wrong. Selfish. You must go. It's your duty. I'll not go. This night belongs to you. To us. I cannot let you stay, Adrian. I... We're going to have our honeymoon. Adrian. and silhouette cutter at your service. Silhouette cutter? What do you want? For God, for country, and for freedom. And they want you immediately at Verona. Immediately? At once, tonight, now. I can't go tonight. Tell them I'll join them in the morning. Morning? Why, why morning will be too late. The patriots are suffering heavy losses, and your own musketeers are now in retreat. Oh, Adrian, I'm afraid you must go. They need you even more than I do. Our honeymoon must wait. Miguel, halt! Is this the castle of Count Adrian Beltrami? Very well. I'll get ready. What is it, Teresa? There are a lot of cavalrymen downstairs. Who are they? Austrians! Austrians? Yes, a whole troop of them. Oh, Adrian, they've come to arrest you. Now, don't worry, dear. Where are you going? I'm going to kick them out. Oh, no, you must. Would you provoke that. trouble with them now? And perhaps lose your life when the cause needs you most? You must escape at once. I can't leave my wife with no one to defend her. Oh, don't worry about me, darling. I'll be all right. I'd feel much easier if there were a man in the house. There is? Who? Me. Tangy, the artist. The silhouette cutter. And whilst you're away, I'll cut a beautiful silhouette of your charming wife. Oh, you can trust me. Yes, I'll... I'll trust you. Then hurry. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, dear. Ah, parting is such sweet sorrow. Have dinner prepared at once for 60 soldiers. Do it when they are. Dinner has been prepared for a hundred people. Oh, well. Possibly that may be enough for 60 soldiers. <laughs> Send the master of the house to me at once.
Whom have I the honor of welcoming? Captain Stoger, from the regiment of Colonel Valto. I wish to see the master of the house, madame. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Captain, but my husband, the, the Count, is not at home. Oh? Well, then, your sweetheart. How dare you, sir? Madame, if it was not your husband I saw you embracing in your bedroom, then it must have been your sweetheart. Madame, Colonel Bato will be here within the hour. And he is not the man you can put off. Far better this young fellow show himself. Colonel Balto wants to see this hot-blooded revolutionist. Who comes to my castle at this time of night? Who? Are you the Count? Am I the Count? Oh, why, my dear sir. You have the great honor of feasting your eyes on none other than Count Adrian Baltame. This is my castle, and this lady, my wife. But I had heard that you were a hot-blooded young rooster. <laughs> then I, uh, I have my moment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not on the field of battle. Oh, oh. 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 Well, I must be off. And I trust you to extend full hospitality to my colonel. Miguel! Dear wife, that I am the master of the house. Yes, Fraser. That is until we are sure that the Count has made his escape. Oh, your pardon me. <laughs> See you. Forbidden to drive these roads at night. Who is forbidding what? I am. Who are you? Oh, well, who are you? You don't know me. Oh, no, I don't. Well, I'm Sophie Laval, premier dancer of the Milan Opera. Oh, oh, this is indeed a great pleasure. And I'm Spotty the Belly Master. Be quiet. Ah, and I am Captain Stojan of the Hussar Regiment of Colonel Valto. Well, how do we know that? Be quiet. Whom I assure you. We'll be very glad to see you. Yeah. Sergeant? Oh, the captain. Escort these ladies to the castle. He's yes, ill. Forward. Forward. bottle of champagne. Bring me a bottle of champagne. Bring me a 
bottles. Have you any beer around the castle? Beer? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I... What is it you wish, my girl? There are a lot of dancing girls at the door. Well, send them away. I was going to. Did you say dancing girls? Yes, and they'll probably want us to feed them and put them up for the night. <laughs> but would you leave all those little dancing girls out in the dark all night? Well, I... Uh... Well, now, how would you like to be left out in the dark if you were a dancing girl? Well, all right, I'll let them in. I suppose it's all right. Let them in. Dancing girl. Oh. Isn't it lovely? Dear, 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 we shall never reach Venice. Well, don't cry about it. This may not be such a bad place after all. But, sweetheart, you promised to marry me when we reach Venice. Then why should I be in such a hurry about it? <laughs> Will you please tell the Count I am here? I know exactly what's going to happen. What? The same thing that always happens when you get where there are a lot of men. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. I am the Count Beltrami. <laughs> <laughs> Whom uh, have I the honor of uh, welcoming? You don't know me? No. Trotty, tell him who I am. This is none other than Sophie LaBelle, the premier dancer of the Milan Opera. Ooh. And I, I am Trotty, the ballet master. I see. <laughs> well, I'm indeed charmed. <laughs> Permit me to add to that Sophie is the object of my sentimental admiration. We are to be married when we reach Venice. And permit me to add that I don't care if I ever reach Venice. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, uh, why not stay overnight? Stay for a week. Stay forever. <laughs> we should give up our beds to you. And I, I shall give you mine. Oh, the whole bed. <laughs> <laughs>
lovely ladies. They are the dancers from the Milan Opera, and I am Spotty, the ballet master. We are forced to spend the night here. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Gentlemen, can you cope with this situation? <laughs> All right, try. <laughs> Then Count Beltrami to me at once. Right away, sir. Uh, pardon me. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I uh, am the Count uh, Beltrami. You? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something funny? So you're Count Beltrami. That fire-eating revolutionist, eh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd plan to have you shot. Yeah. Oh, but you, you changed your mind, haven't you? Well, I think if I leave you alone, you'll fall over of your own accord. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Be gone. Yes, sir. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Signor Sprotti. Signor Sprotti, if you please. Oh, I'm sorry. Aren't you the ballet master? I am. Well, you'll never have a better opportunity. For what? To teach me to uh, dance. Hmm. <laughs> if you could only read my thoughts. Oh, but I can. Well, why don't you go there? Oh. Colonel, we found this man talking treason and defaming our flag. Mm-hmm. Tell me, my good fellow, are you an Austrian? No. Hmm. And uh, just what do you think of the Austrians? No. 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 You murder your crew. So young. No, only Sophie Laval. But I should like to be your hostess. Not Sophie of the Milan Opera. None other. Well, well, well. This is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel. Shall we have dinner together? be such a dull evening after all. No. Two young people, hungry for romance, caught in this out-of-the-way place. We're going to get on famously together. But you can't no. never mind the usual protest. Just relax yourself into the mood of the moment. I'm 
you want? Well, I, I wanted to inform you, sir, that dinner will be served in 15 minutes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. you'd like the bed in the green room. It has little pink doodos and a border of blue butterflies. I know, I wouldn't well, like Well, it. well, what's all the trouble here? Snoopy doesn't like her room. No. Colonel, can't I have the Louis room? Would you like the Louis room? <laughs> yes. Well, give it to her then. But that room belongs to the Countess. Well, tell her to get out of there. She won't do it. Tell your wife to get out of there at once. Oh, she won't mind me. She won't, eh? No. Well, I'll drag her out myself then. Oh, Colonel. Oh. I'm... Well, I... You wish to see me, Colonel? Are you the Countess Beltrami? I am. This is a pleasant surprise. I want to thank you for the dinner you've arranged in my honor. Oh, I'm so sorry, Colonel. There must be some mistake. I've arranged no dinner properly. Oh, pardon me. But my information is most reliable. My dear friend, the Countess has consented to join us at dinner. Now, I suggest you repair to the dining room where you will find some very rare old wine that I know will develop that festive spirit. <laughs> and now, my dear Countess? You seem to assume a great deal, Colonel. Only the obvious, my dear Countess that you will be delighted to join me at dinner. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll find an unwilling guest an unpleasant one. Ah, oh, come now. We're going to get on famously together. And why should we? Because I promise you an exciting evening. Ooh. In contrast to your rather drab existence with the old Count. Aren't you a bit vain, Colonel? Me? <laughs> Absurd, my dear Count. <laughs> There, see? Sophie, please let me beg the Colonel to permit us to go on to Venice. We are not going to Venice. What? No clod-hopping Countess from the back country is going to take any man away from Sophie Laval. But Sophie... Especially when that man happens to be the Colonel of the Hazar Regiment. But what about our marriage? Oh, don't bother me with trifles. Trifles? I'll get him back. I'll dance until his blood is steaming. Sophie, let me steam for you. Oh, who wants to see you steam? But you've never really seen me steam. <laughs>
be here to your bright eyes. And here's to yours, darling. You love your little strutty, don't you? No! To you, Countess. How are you? Yours and mine. Oh, come. No tributes of glorious you. I pay tribute in my own way, Colonel. Alone you cannot do you justice. But together, Countess. I'm sorry, Colonel. Oh, but Countess, I've ridden miles and miles today just to be young with you. That isn't what brought you here. It's what's holding me. So come, join me. To you, glorious you. When hearts are young and love's a star, a song unsung, a magic band that we Who, 
who wanders about from place to place singing and cutting out his little pictures to entertain. Hmm, a singer, eh? Yes. Well, we can soon find out about that. Sing, my good fellow, sing. And remember, I have a very sensitive ear. Uh, right on. <laughs> Sergeant. It's a... If I shouldn't appear to be enjoying the song... Yes, sir. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, sing! Sing! <laughs> Near me, come close and hear. 